Animal Collective. Centipede Frequency. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Moonjock. Well, when I first listened to it, I could barely even pick out a melody that like stuck out in my mind. It was pretty brutal as far as like a hook goes. I I can't think of a single thing that really just hooks you into that song. One of the biggest problems for me though was that Sucker. Yeah, no, I've definitely heard better melodies in my life. For fucking sure. Sorry, like I was gonna say with Moonjock, that was basically one of the worst fucking intros to an album I've ever heard in my life. It's fucking brutal. There's there's basically just no focal point. It's garbage. You come into it, and you're like, oh, hey, okay, all right, all right. I'm listening, I'm listening. And then it's just synth fucking city, and you just hear, like, 48 synths, and it's bullshit. On to the song I'm supposed to be reviewing right now. Today's Supernatural. That is... Hey, I'm gonna be fucking straight with you. That's the best song in this whole album. I know. It's not that good. But it's the best one on this whole fucking album. It's brutal. Anyway, that song has a great melody. I The song is pretty much the point where you realize, oh, okay, it's gonna be full of just synths and electronic bullshit that's not really gonna even make an effort to distinguish song from song. Although I gotta say, I did like, off the beginning, when each song would kind of blend into one another. That's usually a great thing to include in your album, but... With an album like this, where it's just track after track, soaked with effects and synths and blah 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 blah, it really it doesn't do them any favors, and it just goes further to make every song just kind of bleed together like just the trash fast that it is, just a fucking slippery slope, buds. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was, if not one of my, like, bottom two, that was my least favorite song of the whole album. Applesauce is bullshit. Holy fuck. So boring. Annoying melody. Basically no hook. Fuck me. It's just garbage. It just drones on. I don't get the fucking point of that song. It's so fucking bad. Oh, I'm so mad. Applesauce is the biggest waste of my life. Fuck that song. Thank you. Wide Eyed. Just another fucking track. Saturated with synths, it's just way too wet and saturated. You can barely even extract a melody from that song. It's just, it's bullshit. This is pretty much the point in the record where I realized what I was getting myself into and that the record wasn't gonna get any better from the point I was in. It's just, just saggy fucking middle. Brutal. No fun. Unless you're unless you're in a bunch of fucking just hanging out with and trying to recreate the 80s and just hanging out with a bunch of synth players and 
just having nothing else, having no fucking dynamic. It's just, it's nothing or it's synth. You have on and off. You just, fuck it. It sucks. Love, it's not real. This is a song, <clears throat> Father Time, obviously. <clears throat> uh, Jesus Christ. So all they talk about is fucking time. <clears throat> this is the song where it really becomes apparent, was, which is like a running theme of this album where it's just like, hey, you know what? Let's take this tiny little fragment of a lyric and repeat it over and over again. And then, and then we'll take a little bit that's a real, you know, like a good half or like three quarters of a lyric. And then we'll play that. And it'll seem like fucking gold when you surround it like with a bunch of bullshit that you just keep repeating. And yes, as you'll see by the end, that is a running theme. I won't spoil it for you. But, the shit isn't that catchy. Deal with it. Boom. Uh, Newtown Burnout. Uh, yeah. Pretty much, at this point in the album, it's just more of the same. Uh, it... If anything, it just took too long to get where it was going, like most of the album. It's, they're just dragging out, like, the basic lyrics that they write. It's just, it's the same fucking thing over and over again. They're just like, hey, we had a car crash. Hey. We had a car crash, and it'd do that for, hey, you know, six minutes. It's great. Love it. So good. Fuck this album. Don't do it. Don't do it. Monkey Riches. I like the beginning. That's like most songs of this album. I really like the beginning. And then it just, it just staggers off into this bullshit. I, I really like, I like the pacing of the song. It's almost like, I don't really know much about prog rock, but I, I, I get the idea of like a progressively more intense song. And it has that kind of idea, except it doesn't full th like f fulfill itself. And... In the end, it's just kind of another song where it shoves down half a lyric down your face. Mercury Man has a cool start. <clears throat> I like most of the album, it has this kind of just underwater sort of sound, which I don't know, from a, from an engineering standpoint, it's funny because all the signals are just so wet. I don't know, it's, it's, it's cool in a way, but overall it's, it's unfulfilling if, if that's just kind of like the running theme of it. It doesn't really pay off. Um, Mercury Man. Yeah, it's just another, it's just another, like most of the songs, they start off, they start off with like a cool idea and then it just, over time you just lose interest and it doesn't pay off. Police. Police has a cool start and a cool beat, but it's, it's just as wet as pretty much other, other, every other song in there, it's just, it's so far from just like a dry fucking human signal. It's tough. It's kind of 
tough to just relate to because there's just so many electronic sounds and shit getting in your way. And yeah, it's just another kind of song that just drones on and on and it's really hard to gather anything from it. Mancha. It's, it's, uh, yeah. Another one of these songs, uh, Sad Beat Hurts. It starts off really cool and it hooks you in. But then it just kind of, it just doesn't take you anywhere. It's, it's kind of fucked up. Really cool off the beginning, but the first time I heard it, after listening to another 10 songs of pretty much the same thing, I wrote down right here another cool beginning. Let's watch it go to shit over the course of the next five fucking minutes. There you have it. There are a bunch of songs. They have cool ideas, cool themes, but they just drag you along and just repeat the same fucking words over the course of five minutes. It's kind of brutal. It's like, it's like, here's a cactus. You ever seen a cactus before? No, I don't think I've seen a cactus before. It's like, okay, well, let me get 50 of them and I'll drag you over them for the next two hours. It's fucking brutal. Anyway, the best part of the last song, like it, it, it begins pretty solid, neat, decent, and then it and then it gets into just this mediocrity that is most of the album, and then the bridge hits. And you're like, oh, this is nice. This is new and refreshing. And it's not even a great bridge or anything, but it's just surrounded by bullshit that it seems pretty sweet. And then it carries out and it opens up a lot. Which is, which is pretty nice. It feels good. And that ends off the album better than it starts, for sure. So it, it seems really well. So take it as you will. Fucking centipede hurts. Boom. God. God damn it. Hey, what's going on? Here I am, reviewing centipede hurts. I gotta fucking say, there are more than a million goddamn fucking synthesizers in this thing, and it really just clogs up the fucking tubes, if you know what I'm saying. The high end in this album, uh, at times it's really, it's kind of fucking atrocious to listen to. Thus, I've dubbed it. <clears throat> Soggy Synthy Hour. I couldn't think of another S word. Otherwise, that would have been fucking great. Just a great insult kind of name. Here's also what I got. I got Piss Poor Arrangement Party. Because at times, there's way too many of the same fucking thing going on. Makes the mix sound like shit. Fucking goddamn. Dig it. <clears throat> And here's what I'm left with. Even though there are, there are definitely songs I liked a lot, I couldn't tell you a goddamn line out of the whole album. And that's... It just says something. About just... Like, I, I know an album doesn't need to just be, like, super catchy pop bullshit and just stick in your face. But, I don't know, you'd like to take something away from what you just spent an hour, well not quite an hour, but almost an hour listening to. I haven't listened to any other Animal Collective, but judging from this album, it's a bunch of fucking bullshit. Pissing me off. Wow. Not even catchy. Are you kidding me? When your second song and your last song are, are the best songs, out of 11 songs, I think that's kind of horror shit. You're like, okay, first song, yeah, okay, we know it sucks. Hopefully they'll get over the hump. Second song was the best song. You're like, okay, then you're gonna just hope for a decent song. Not even like a great song, just a decent song. You're gonna wait till the very last song for a decent song. That's horseshit. 
fuck it all. Pretty much just a shitty album. You heard it here first. I don't give a fuck. Anyone who likes this, I don't know. I don't think we can be friends anymore. We'll be right back with a rating. <clears throat> Animal Collective, Centipede Hurts, 5 out of 10. It's alright in the background. Throw it in. Throw on this album if you don't really feel like listening to an album. If you feel like just kind of walking away and, I don't know, doing the dishes or cleaning up cat shit or something. Billy, let go. Billy, let go.